wool dryers use lots of electricity, so hanging your clothes up outside in the open air will save you money. And not only that, your clothes will smell so much better too. We're going to show you how to put up this easy to install airer that comes in a pack. Right, well we're just getting our hole ready to receive the socket for our rotary airer. Now we're digging a hole about 25 to 50 centimetres deep. It does depend on the size of socket that you're going to be using in which to take the error and we're digging it about 300 mil wide. Now we've, first of all we removed a coin of turf which we're saving and I'll show you why later on and then as I said we're digging out the hole. How are we getting on? Nearly there. Yeah? Should Good stuff. Measure, yeah, that. let's give it a quick measure. I would say that's about spot on for a socket of that size. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. Right, we'll just firm off the bottom, level it out. That's that. Okay, now we're going to pop in some postcrete. Now, I suggest what we do is we put a little bit of water, two inches of water in the bottom, and then we'll put a third of the bag in, and then using this bit of two to one, we'll mix the whole lot in together, and then work our way up. Now, that's rapid setting, so it's going to go off pretty quick, so we're going to have to work just as quickly. So I'll pop the water in, first of all. So three inches, about spot on. Now it's time for our post fix. Before we do that, we need to put some goggles on. Oh, okie dokie. How's that? Yeah, that'll do for the time being. Good stuff. Right, a little bit more water. We've got to move quickly because it's going off. Yeah. <laughs> The most important thing is a little and often, otherwise if you put the whole bag in there and then pour water in, the top couple of inches will be mixed up but you'll never get it to the bottom. Yeah. What we're going to do is drop down by about a couple of inches so that we can put our coin of turf over the top, cut round the hole, which is set lower than the, the surrounding grass, and then the mower just goes straight over the top and you wouldn't even know it was there. Brilliant. So, And we'll pop uh, in the centre. We'll pop the cap on. Okay, now what we want to do is to just pop a spirit level on top, and we want the socket to sit about about a centimetre down from the bottom of the spirit level, i.e. turf level. So we just pop that in like that. And what that's going to do is make sure that we can just run a mower over the top, and the blades won't accidentally clip the socket. Right. Okay. So that's there. Now, of course, we need to check that the socket is completely vertical, so we'll get the pole just there, we'll pop that in before our post fix is set, and then I've got a little boat level here, we shall pop that onto the side to check that we're level, and we'll just spot on, happy yeah, with that? That looks good. Right. Now, I'll step away. <laughs> so we'll leave that for half an hour now. Because we're using rapid set post fix, uh, it takes about half an hour and then we can continue with the rest of the job. Okay. If we were using, you know, ordinary Portland cement, it'd probably take about 48 hours before you could do any more. But that's the advantage of using this stuff. Yeah. Alright, so I think we'll let that set and in the meantime we'll have a cup of tea. Good idea. Right then, Loretta, that seems to have set nice and hard, doesn't it? Great, yeah. Perfect. Now you remember at the beginning we cut out that coin of turf and saved it, well here's what it's for. You simply pop it back over the top, like so, and then using some ordinary garden soil you just rub it into the joint there so that this piece of turf blends back with the lawn quite happily, and then using a bread knife you cut out a little disc in the centre so that you can access the socket, and then you can put the air up, and what you get is a seamless finish. Of course, if you don't manage to do this or it goes horribly wrong, you can, of course, just put in a little bit of grass seed. Just the job, just as well. OK, so if I do this bit, yeah, the cutting out, and you smooth in there, we should be relatively straightforward. OK. All right, there's the centre there. So just cut a little cross. And then just go in ever so gently. It's a bit of a mucky job to start with, but it soon settles in. Mm -hmm. And it's just nice to have a seamless finish, isn't it? Like that. And then we can access our cap like that. Hey, presto. Great. So let's just make sure all that's in. I'm not going to go wrong. Pop our cap back down. 
Good stuff. So do you want to fill around there? Sure. Just like that? Is that okay? Yeah, just, keep, just rub it in. And what that does is it sort of fills the void and it helps our little disc of turf, a little coin there, okay. rejoin his friends, the rest of the lawn. Okay, well, I think it's time for the error, the moment of truth. Okay. So we'll pop this in first of all. Right, so. Okay, let's shift these out the way. Okay. okay, shall I get the bottom? Yeah. Are you in there? Yep. Do you want to get the bottom? Yep. Good stuff. Great. Job done. Rotary washing lines aren't the most attractive thing in the garden, but of course they are really practical. And don't forget, they're movable. So once you've taken off all your washing, pop it in the shed.